Welcome to my latest diary instalment. I've done loads of fishing over the winter, perch fishing, carp fishing, little bit of pike fishing, and enjoyed every second of it. So join me first of all over on the River Neen in an attempt to catch a whacking great perch. Well, back down the old river today, and it's been a little bit slow so far. Caught loads of liveys, stuck one out there. Took about 20 minutes to go, and a big old pike was on the end. Must have been 10, 11 pounds, something like that. So I've just whacked it back out there, and hopefully it hasn't spooked the swim for too long. It's full of predators, this little stretch, so I shouldn't think the perch would be too spooked. But I'm gonna give it here an hour. I'll know whether the perch are here or not within the next hour or so. Uh, and if not, I'll be up in sticks and going somewhere else. Unfortunately, I uh, only caught one small perch and, uh, and a decent pike from the, uh, from the lock. So I've decided to come elsewhere. I've come over to a marina now. And within five minutes, live bait went and uh, I caught a tiny, tiny little zander um, and just had another bite on the live bait. So hopefully things are going to be uh, a little bit more productive over here. It's a pretty good day, there's a nice colour to the water, so uh, we'll see what happens. After a semi-successful session over on the marina, it was time to do a tutorial. I was there with a lad known as Dave Preston. Dave's done a little bit of perch fishing, but not a lot, and his aim was to catch a two pounder on the day. And boy, did we do that. We caught two fish over two pounds, up to two pound 12 ounces, and a couple of big pike too. The next day I went perch fishing as well and managed a lovely fish well over the two pound mark. But I promised a good friend of mine, golf pro, Fred Dewsbury, to take him fishing. So on a drab wintry day, I took him over to the beautiful banks of Castle Ashby. And that's where you find us. He needs to pump this straight under the island, hopefully. Oh, that looks good. Leave that. Oh, has it got? Oh, has it got? Oh, is it the <laughs> clip really? Okay, I mean, Fredo is in. Just put, take your rod like that way, mate. Just, just bring your rod down this way, mate. Like taking it that way. Freddy boy is in. Come on, Come on we've got to get this in, son. Put your rod down low, mate. Sure, down low. Sure, rig if it fucking comes off. <laughs> keep it down low, mate. Just keep that rod low. Thank you. Brooko is here to save the day. Brooko, come on. Just lift him into it, Brooko. Oh no. Is he in? Yay! Give him a good eye. See, Freddy boy. Oh. Yeah, boy. Happy with that, son? Very happy. About time. Let's work on my golf swing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's more, work on your golf swing. Excuse my eye. I look like a mong. Right. Freddy boy with a cup. Jeez. That'll do, mate, wouldn't it? It's been hard going. Lovely. Lovely. Crash yeah, it's the got old some hammer, that unbelievable one. Unbelievable patterns on it. <laughs> when you look close to it. Lovely. Go, well done, mate. Let's get her back. Just pick her up like I just showed you when you were holding her. You're a fishing pro, not a golf pro. Alright, get her back then, mate. There you go, my lover. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Coming back for more, he <laughs> loves me. God, it's like being on a film shoot. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Don't catch these very often. A little daddy rough. <laughs> He's a minter. Beauty. <laughs> Sweet, mate. They're so rare, they are. Well, back out fishing again. I've uh, been fishing today with my old mate Fred and uh, we've been over to Castle Ashby and I've decided to come perch fishing for the last hour and after a few casts, 
<laughs> I've only had like 10 worms left over from a tutorial yesterday and a um, few casts had a few little Percy's and then just hooked an amazing two pound, 10 ounce specimen, fought like absolute stink. And uh, as you can imagine, absolutely overjoyed with the result. A real old battle axe of a perch. And uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. I've got about 20, 25 minutes of light left. So I'm gonna get the rod back out. You never know, could be a three sitting down there. Well, the next week or so was tutorial overload. Everyone was itching for me to take and perch fishing and we had some incredible results. We fished on the lakes whilst the rivers were coloured. Once they dropped out, we went back on the rivers, caught some lovely fish. To just under three pounds, we visited the Neen, the River Ouse, and loads of different spots. So, in fact, I had a great deal of fun, as well as those guys on the tutorials. So, if you're interested, contact me, and we can book something in for next year, maybe. Anyway, after that, it was time to get fishing again for myself. Well, I'm over on the beautiful River Ouse today. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely day, lovely and mild. And after all the floods, the river is finally fining down. So I've jumped at the opportunity. Uh, yesterday, I went over to uh, a little place on the Neen and managed loads of perch up to about two pounds, which was nice, lovely fish. This morning, uh, the plan was always to head back over to the Neen for an hour's float fishing um, in a little lock that I know and managed a lovely one of two pound nine ounces. It was an absolute cracking fish, fought really, really hard. And that was it, job done over there. So I've come back to the ooze for the place where there's some absolute whackers. And although the river is a little bit high still, the colour seems to have dropped out. So yeah, looking forward to a good session. Lovely boy, chilling out in his little nest in the reeds. Quiver tip out, white old wobbly Ronnie bank stick, nodding it right up there. About 20 years old, that bank stick head. <laughs> Nicked out of my dad's garage. And I'm fishing just down there. Lovely. Well, just getting into the witching hour on the river. I've been here sort of three hours or so with very, very little action. I've fished four different areas and I'm now back to the original spot, which seems to be producing a couple of bites. Just had an awesome fish of two pound, 10 ounces. So, so close to that three. Uh, and I've had a couple of smaller ones since being here as well. Um, it's doing a few bites. So yeah, as it's got later, just like, uh, always with the old perch the later in the day the more active they are so yeah hopeful of an even bigger one but so far so good we'll see shower for barley bear and a shower for daddy afterwards after a very good muddy day on the river tuition today although I can hardly call it that because my old mucker Pat is there behind us about to get a boot full of water I reckon it's really flooded down here at a lake in Cambridge the lakes are absolutely stunning and we were looking initially to go on the easier one the really coloured lake but quite unbelievably we've spotted a couple show on the harder lake the sort of ones with the bigger fish in uh, the prettier older ones so we've decided that we're gonna go on there. We've got two nights, so we're probably gonna do the first night on there where we know we're on fish. We've seen some bubblers on the other one as well, so we'll probably put a little bit of bait in, uh, then do the night on the trickier lake and see what happens by the morning. We can always go on to the other one for the last night if we want to. So that's the plan. We're gonna go and get the gear, go get set up, and hopefully that'll have a big old fully in the morning. If not, I will, and he'll probably push me in but I'll make it up to him. <laughs> Finally, I got the chance to get the carp rods out with my old mate, Patrick. We went over to a place in Cambridge, is Syndicate Lake. There's about 12 acres in size, tricky, with only a hundred odd carp in. It's a beautiful, beautiful water. And before long, we saw a few fish show. They head and shouldered right out of the water and we had our location sorted for the two day session. Um, 
flick to zig out just in the channel behind me obviously down doing this tutorial um, but good mate of mine pat said flick the rods out as well so i flicked a zig just in a little channel behind me really narrow little channel a bit black foam with some maggots on the end and quite incredibly after 10 minutes pulled up tight did it held tight and i'm in and i've got a lovely lovely common in the net so let's go take a look well how about that one 30 pounds and eight ounces caught on a little black zig with a few maggots on top i've got to say sorry a little bit to pat we're on a tuition today and this is roared off within like 10 minutes say roared it just pulled up tight but uh fought like absolute stink lovely lovely carp time to get her back time to catch pat one hopefully go and send that fully pat's way Bally? Bally. Bally, look, what's this? Bally. Mm, good boy, is it bedtime? <laughs> no, no. Kettle's on. It is half past five in the morning. And my right hand rod, actually, no, sorry, was it right rod? Yeah, right hand rods just rattled off. One on a pink northern, and the result is a lovely, lovely common. Just put it in the retainer for, well, it's going to be about an hour till it's light. Then I'm going to do some pictures. Well chuffed. It is the morning of day two, and I managed to fish in the night. It was absolutely stunning, stunning mid-20 common which has now been filmed and photographed unfortunately the film's a little bit out of focus um, but I got some belting shots of it and it really was stunning fish rattled off this morning um, took a bright northern special hook bait on a hinge just over the uh, the boily crumb um, 10 millers maggots casters that sort of thing and yeah the, uh, it was a bit of a result really the weather's changed a lot this morning uh, we've got northeasterly blowing into the swim. Um, Pat lo lost one last night. Uh, of course, I had one, so we're going to stay put. Um, the plan is this afternoon. I'm going to go and do some casting on the other lake. I'm on a tutorial here with Pat, um, and then we're going to come back, put the rods out in the afternoon, uh, and do the final night till tomorrow morning. So uh, yeah, feeling good. Had two fish on a pretty tricky lake. So. Yeah, chuffed with that really, to come over here, not really having a clue what to do. Um, it's only a hundred or so fish in here. So, uh, yeah, by no means easy. And we've winkled out two fish. Pat's had a bite and lost it, unfortunately. But hopefully tonight we're going to catch another one. So, yeah, great stuff. Six o'clock in the evening, it's getting dark now. And I've got all three rods out. I've reeled the zig rod in. I've got all three rods on bright hook baits now uh, over a bit of spawn on the little silty area that I caught off last night. Decided to fish all three rods on that spot. I've got nothing today. Haven't really seen a lot today either. Um, it's really cold actually. It's a really cold northeasterly wind blowing into the bank. Um, but you never know. Caught off a spot last night. So hopefully, if I want to get all zipped up tonight, you never know. One of the rods might rattle off. But to catch two, I'm pretty chuffed with. See what tonight brings. For all my future tutorialists, this is how I am treated. <laughs> like a king. This man, what a legend. Hopefully oh, gonna catch right, a yeah. bit cold, isn't it mate? This will warm us up. Hopefully we'll catch a whacker tonight though, boy. That'll warm you up and all, won't it? Never mind. Cheers, guys. Cheers, mate. Yes, keep your nose out. You've got a sausage. It was a chilly morning, but in the sun felt almost spring-like. It was an absolute stunning morning, and there was a reason why I had a huge smile on my face. Very, very, very good morning. Managed another lovely carp this morning. A beautiful, beautiful dark common. with like this awesome little ghosty-like tail, almost looked like a mini Spitfire pool common. It was absolutely glorious. Fought like mad last night and I'm very, very chuffed with it. It was absolutely stunning. So 
we'll go and take a look at it in a moment but just tactics wise to give you a little bit of information I was fishing 14 wraps which is uh, 40 about 56 60 60 yards something like that 56 I think um, yeah onto a like a silty trough where we'd seen fish showing um, been spot spawning out sort of bits of crumb um, maggots casters and 10 mil live system that been absolutely dosed up in bloodworm extract so a lovely stinky little mix each evening I've been putting out like 10 spoms before dark and then fishing bright smelly ones over the top northern specials yellows and pinks have both done bites and yeah been getting a bite a night which has been pretty amazing so let's go and have a look at this carp <laughs> we're recording well how about that one what an amazing carp that is got like a little ghosty outline on its tail this one fought like crazy and is an absolute corker especially in the winter yeah well chuffed with that one little bright hook bait again over the magwars and crum and casters <sighs> delighted looks beautiful in this morning sun time to get her back I reckon beauty good boy over over you go Good boy. Ready then, fella? turn that down for the minute but I'm in the car and I'm on the way to the River Ouse and I can't bloom in way the river should be pretty much cock on it looks like there's gonna be no rain today there isn't long left of the river season I think I've got about a week left at it haven't been able to go perch fishing for several weeks now due to the rivers being absolutely knackered. Uh, I meet my mate Mark down at the river. Haven't seen him for a while. Used to go to school with this fella, so known him years. We used to get on our bikes, cycle down to the local river, fish for chub on the surface and stuff. So it'd be lovely to see him, have a bit of a catch up and hopefully catch a few big perch along the way. Yeah, can't wait. So the key to fishing these squirms is casting them out. Little nudge and leave it. Little nudge and leave it. And the bites, any sort of kind of thud on the tip, strike. Because that's a bite. Well, something's just snaffled the old lure off the far bank. Hopefully, a nice perch. Nicely. Well, finally, in these horrible windy conditions, I've landed a fish over three pounds, just a smidgen over three pounds. But look how fat it is, fat as a barrel, no doubt, absolutely full of minnows, gudgeon, and everything else that it can eat. But yeah, finally done it with just a week to go. Fish over three pounds, and what an awesome creature it is. Time to get her back. 
Well, thank you to everyone that's watched the diary piece this month. I hope that you enjoyed it. Just to round it off, I'm gonna give away a prize this month. I'm gonna give away five kilos of the awesome CC Moore Pacific Tuna. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will pick a winner at random and I will announce that on the 20th of April on my Instagram stream. So all you have to look me up is James Armstrong123 on Instagram and I will announce the winner then. So best of luck, hope you enjoyed the diary piece, get subscribing.